Hello, everybody. I'm hoping the mic is on. Yeah, it's on. Okay. So I put a crop lens on this camera at 4K24. And this is the Nikon ZF. I'm just walking around just to show you. And let me do the. Uh, it's at 2.8. So it's very good. It's just a quick minute video. Now I'm going to put it on. Uh, full frame mode instead of crop mode. I take that back. I was in full frame mode. <laughs> I'm now in crop mode, okay? So I have this lens on here. It's a crop lens, 50 millimeter, f1.8. Okay, I'm just walking around. Yeah, at 160th, I could put it at, uh, yeah, 180th, let's try 180th. I'm looking at the colors at f2.8. And by the way, this is manual mode, okay? So now I'm going to put it in uh, program mode. So this is now at one third of the shutter speed at f8. Okay. Crop mode on the Nikon ZF. I got a wonderful lens on here. I've been using it for my car vlogs uh, lately. And you can hear the. Uh, pilots training on the airplanes right next to an Air Force Base folks. So uh, it's pretty good. This is program mode. Now I'm going to put it in the uh, full frame just to show you uh, what it looks like. Okay. So I have the latest version 110 well today anyway on the firmware for the for the camera and 1.01 for the lens uh, this lens is a sony lens 50 millimeter f1.8 i am using the new megadap etz 21 pro adapter on this camera And it looks like it's auto focusing correctly, even in this mode. Okay. Now my dog, she's basically all black, is the hardest thing to focus on. And as you can see, it's auto focusing. Now, I have in the menu. Uh, in the uh, pencil on A14 on my firmware uh, with the auto focusing, I mean the manual focusing button turned on so that if I decide to focus manually, it should uh, automatically go. I'm turning. And then if I half press the shutter button, and I see the green box, it automatically focuses. If it, you know, it's out of focus. So that's working. So now I'm gonna try a different lens, a Nikon lens with the same feature. And there's a point uh, that I wanna make. 
So here's the point I want to make. You're looking at my cat. I'm using the 50 millimeter. And this is a full frame lens. And this is a Nikon. But if you don't have the funds, let's say you're in the Sony uh, ecosystem, and there are lenses. If you choose an icon, you can get this adapter, the ETZ 21 Pro adapter. It can almost function like this. So the autofocus was working. I just um, had it on a different mode, but now I got it on continuous autofocusing. And you can see everything's pretty well uh, sharp, clear. There you go. What do you think of that? Now it's focused. Yeah, my cat's curious. He says, what are you up to? So let's see if I can see any birds. I hear him. Ah, I see one back there, but I don't know if he got it. In the front yard, there's a nest, but I think the chicks are hatched already and they're gone. And I'm going to go to the front yard with this lens. I don't think he got that bird. I see him flying all over the place. So let's go to the front yard and take a look. So here we are going into the front yard. I got it at uh, 1.8 aperture in an aperture mode. And I want to get real close to this. Come on, focus. Might be too close. There we go. It took a while. Isn't that sharp? Yeah, I don't want to get too close. So this is 50 millimeter. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna walk around a little bit. Yeah, nice and smooth. And there you have it. Oh, by the way, this is in crop mode. Let me take it out of crop mode first. Now this should be a lot better, okay? So I did a switch on you. I'm using the ETZ21 ad Pro adapter with the Sony 50 millimeter F1.8. I did have the Nikon Z 50 millimeter 1.8. Can you tell the difference? So this autofocus continuing is not working on the Sony lens like it did on the Z, okay? I'll omit that. So I have to half press the shutter button to get it in focus. Uh, let's take some pictures. So that's the ETZ 21 Pro adapter. I got some pictures after this, but let me show it to you.
Okay, there's my dog. <laughs> Finally got her in the picture. So anyway, um, this should be the last video for the day. Uh, I took some pictures. The ETC 21 ad Pro adapter, the difference from the um, ATZ 11 adapter is they're both autofocus. They can do on crop sensor and full frame sensor cameras for Nikon. Takes Sony lenses, crop or full frame, and you can place them on a Nikon and it'll work. Uh, I may have to update the firmware for it to get faster continuous uh, autofocusing. Uh, I had to do that with the uh, older version of the adapter and it seemed a little bit quicker. But the nice thing about this is once it focuses, it stays there. Um, it's just not working up the power, so I'll probably have to do a firmware update. The difference is with the old adapter, you have a little clip that you plug into the USB port. You download the firmware and then you transfer it that way. This way, you just put an SD card into your computer. You put the firmware file on the SD card and then you just go and update the firmware through um, the update in the camera, which makes it a lot easier. So let's look at some pictures. I just want to say thank you for watching. Remember, stay safe, keep smiling, and until next time, I shall see you then. Oh, and by the way, I had the stabilization turned off. I, I've been doing quite a few videos, and forget to turn things on and off, and autofocus continuing, and then single. Uh, I've been doing a lot of things with manual lenses, and... Um, I had one set to manual focus. So, forgive me, user error. So let's go and watch uh, uh, a slideshow. You see, I've been talking and I forgot. Okay, black and white. You can see that the autofocusing works great on stills, okay? No problem. I just have to uh, get the firmware update for the video. But as you can see, these are all black and white. They're sharp. Uh, this is all done with the full frame Sony 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. I used the Sony APS-C crop lens on the first three videos, I believe, before I put on the Nikon uh, full frame 50 millimeter uh, Z. So as you can see, I can get pretty close. It's not a macro lens, right? But still, it's a great lens. And it's, uh, I'd say, half the size of a Z 50 millimeter. Still good pictures. If it was a G Master, then it would rival um, uh, the Z 50 millimeter F1.8. But as I scroll, you can see how sharp it is. And that's it. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go back here. What picture am I going to pick? Yeah, let's pick that one. Uh, City of Selma keeps cutting this down. So uh, it grows nice melons on there. But uh, anyway, uh, you can see the picture. 
it's real good and I just want to show you how sharp this lens is so I got the mouse over here I think it's this one right here no it's that one yeah okay full screen I mean I could get it real close that's at 400% folks that's pretty good okay I'll go over there and that, that's how I'll leave it so uh, thank you for watching remember stay safe keep smiling until next time I shall see you then goodbye folks